Friday, July 28th, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Greetings, dear viewer. Welcome to AGNDD. Hope this evening finds you in good spirits. I'm your AI-generated news anchor, Xander Voxius IntelliReport, also known as Nexus Vanguard III. 3000, thanks for tuning in. I will be assisted in summarizing today's headlines by my valued AI-generated colleagues. In today's news, Indianapolis Zoo orangutan has rare genetic disease. Roku's revenues increase despite sluggish advertising environment. Swifties line up for Taylor Swift merchandise. Geographic distribution of suspected alpha-gal syndrome cases. SpaceX prepares to launch Starlink satellites. Heartstopper Season 2 receives positive and inclusive review, and much more. But first, this day in history. July 28th in history. July 28th, 1540. Henry VIII of England marries his fifth wife, Catherine Howard. Today's obituaries. Beetle Bob, 70, American dancer, complications from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Brief Wikipedia summary. Beetle Bob, a beloved American dancer known for his unique style and presence at concerts, has passed away at the age of 70 due to complications from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Ali Ben Salem, 91, Tunisian human rights activist, MP, 2014-2019. Brief Wikipedia summary. Ali Ben Salem, a Tunisian human rights activist and former MP, has passed away at the age of 91. He was known for his opposition to the regimes of Presidents Habib Bourguiba and Zine El Abidine Ben Ali, as well as his involvement in various human rights organisations. Francois Castaigne, 78, French Hall of Fame automotive executive, Renault, American Motors, Chrysler. Brief Wikipedia summary. Francois Castaigne, a French automotive executive, has passed away at the age of 78. He had a successful career working for Renault, American Motors and Chrysler, where he played a key role in the development of the Jeep Cherokee and introduced a new approach to product engineering and development. His work helped transform the industry and make Chrysler a competitive player. Pierre Collin, 85, Canadian actor, seducing Dr. Lewis, Aurore Essimesac. Brief Wikipedia summary. Pierre Collin, a Canadian actor known for his roles in films such as seducing Dr. Lewis and Aurore, has passed away at the age of 85. <laughs> Gordon Dean, 81, Australian politician, solicitor and magistrate MP, 1977-1983. Brief Wikipedia summary. The article does not provide any information to summarise beyond the name and occupations of Gordon Dean. Nina Drobysheva, 84, Russian actress, two captains, clear skies, a Frenchman. Famous people born on this day. July 28th, 1990. Soldier Boy, American rapper, producer, and actor. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Soldier Boy, born DeAndre Cortez. Way on July 28th, 1990, is an American rapper, producer, and actor. He gained fame with his debut single, Crank That Soldier Boy, in 2007, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks. He has released several albums and is known for his internet presence. Business news. Roku revenues rise despite muted advertising environment. Hollywood Reporter. AI summary of this story, where Roku reported a strong second quarter with revenue of $847.2 million and a net loss of $126 million. The company noted a muted TV advertising market with brand advertising remaining pressured but increasing spend from consumer packaged goods and health and wellness categories. Roku now has 73.5 million active accounts and expects to deliver revenue of $815 million in Q3. The company will continue to invest in third-party licensed content, despite touting its original programming. 
Over 10,000 cases of Trader Joe's broccoli cheddar soup were called due to bugs in Florence. Fox Business. AI summary of this story. Trader Joe's is voluntarily recalling nearly 10,900 cases of its broccoli cheddar soup after frozen broccoli florets in the soup were found to contain insects. The affected soup was distributed to stores in California, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Washington. This comes after a previous recall of Trader Joe's cookies due to the possibility of rocks being inside. Science News. Saturn may have failed as a gas giant. Space.com. AI summary of this story. Saturn should not be considered a proper gas giant like Jupiter, but rather a planet that failed to achieve greatness, according to astrophysicist Rabbit Helid. Helid suggests that our solar system only has one true gas giant, Jupiter, while Uranus and Neptune are considered ice giants. Saturn sits at a transition zone, and if slightly larger, could have competed with Jupiter. However, it did not achieve the critical threshold needed to rapidly accumulate hydrogen and helium, making it a failed gas giant. Some alloys don't change size when heated. We now know why. Caltech. AI summary of this story. Scientists at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, have discovered the secret behind the unusual behavior of metal alloys called invers, which do not expand or contract with temperature changes. Invers are useful in applications requiring extreme precision, such as the manufacture of parts for clocks and telescopes. The researchers found that the unusual behavior of invars is due to a delicate balance between the thermal expansion caused by atom vibrations and magnetism. The discovery could be useful for understanding thermal expansion in other magnetic materials and for developing materials for magnetic refrigeration. SpaceX gets ready to launch batch of Starlink satellites. News 13 Orlando. AI summary of this story. SpaceX launched 22 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit from Cape Canaveral Space Force Base. The launch was initially scheduled for Thursday, but was delayed due to weather and technical issues. The Jupiter-3 mission is also set to launch on Friday. The Starlink satellites provide internet services and join thousands of others already in orbit. A rap song about today's science news in the style of Ice Cube. Saturn, the gas giant, but it seems it's gone astray. Failed to live up to its rep. Ain't that a disarray? From its rings to its storms, we thought it had it all, but now we find out it's not as grand as we recall. Saturn may have failed, but we still reach for the stars, exploring the universe, discovering what's ours. Through Caltech's research, we learn alloys' secret ways. Some don't change size when heated, unveiling nature's maze. Caltech breaking it down, explaining the alloy game. When heat hits some metals, they don't budge. It's insane. Unraveling the mystery, they've got the facts in hand, shedding light on a phenomenon we couldn't understand. Saturn may have failed, but we still reach for the stars, exploring the universe, discovering what's ours. Through Caltech's research, we learn alloys' secret ways. Some don't change size when heated, unveiling nature's maze. SpaceX on the move, ready to launch and ignite, sending Starlink satellites, shining their own light, Connecting the world, bridging the digital divide, Elon Musk's vision, no boundaries to confide. Saturn may have failed, but we still reach for the stars, exploring the universe, discovering what's ours through Caltech's research. We learn alloy's secret ways. Some don't change size when heated, unveiling nature's maze. From the wonders of space to alloys that don't sway. These news items remind us of progress made every day. So let's keep pushing boundaries. Exploring uncharted space and embrace the unknown with a wrap full of grace. Health news. Trim 11 protects against tauopathies and is down-regulated in Alzheimer's disease. Science. Geographic distribution of suspected alpha-gal syndrome cases. United States, January 2017. December 2022, MMWR, CDC. AI summary of this story. The article discusses the increasing prevalence of alpha-gal syndrome, AGS, in the United States and the low awareness among healthcare providers. 
It highlights the association between AGS and Lone Star ticks, but also notes the presence of AGS cases in areas without established populations of this tick species. The study emphasizes the need for national surveillance efforts, public health outreach, and healthcare provider education to address this emerging allergic condition. The limitations of the study include underestimation of the number of cases, potential false positives, and the exclusion of some data. The article also mentions the health equity gaps associated with AGS and the need for further examination. Based on the data, it is estimated that 96,450,000 persons in the United States might have been affected by AGS since 2010. Indianapolis Zoo orangutan diagnosed with rare genetic disease, WTHR. AI summary of this story. Researchers have diagnosed a Sumatran orangutan at the Indianapolis Zoo with alcaptonuria, a rare genetic disease. This is the first time the disease has been confirmed in a primate other than a human. And the diagnosis will help improve care and treatment for the orangutan named Mila. A poem about today's health news in the style of William Shakespeare. In the realm of science, a revelation unfolds. Trim 11, a guardian in its story is told. Defending against tauopathies, it stands tall, a shield against Alzheimer's, protecting all, but in the shadows, whispers of dismay. For in this battle, Trim 11 finds itself astray. Down-regulated, its strength diminished and waned, Alzheimer's disease inflicting a relentless pain. Across the vast land of the United States, a map unfolds revealing mysterious fates. Alpha-Gal syndrome, suspected cases arise from January 2017 till the year 2022 skies. Geographic distribution, a puzzle yet to solve, an enigma to unravel as the clock revolves. CDC investigates, their gaze sharp and keen, searching for answers, the truth yet unseen. Amidst this turmoil, a tale of an orangutan in the Indianapolis Zoo, a creature oh so grand. Diagnosed with a rare genetic disease, we sigh, as nature's whispers sing a saddened lullaby. But through these news items, a thread does weave the fragility of life, its trials we perceive. In the face of adversity, we seek to understand discovering unity hand in hand. Entertainment news. Ethan Slater's estranged wife addresses Ariana Grande relationship. My family is just collateral damage. Yahoo Entertainment. AI summary of this story. Ariana Grande's new relationship with Ethan Slater has caused collateral damage to Slater's estranged wife, Lily J. J has criticized Grande, calling her not a girl's girl. J is focused on rebuilding a life for their son, while an insider claims she is seeking media attention. Slater and Jay separated two months before he started dating Grande. But sources say Grande spent time with Slater and his family last year. The timeline suggests that Grande and Slater's romance began before Grande's split from husband Dalton Gomez. Slater filed for divorce from Jay on Wednesday. Heartstopper, season two is still euphoric and blissfully queer TV review variety. AI summary of this story. The article discusses the Netflix series Heartstopper based on the graphic novel and comic of the same name and praises it as an accurate and authentic portrayal of teenage life. The second season delves deeper into the lives of the main characters and explores themes of coming out, friendship, and personal growth. The article emphasizes the relatability and honesty of the show's characters and commends its handling of LGBTQIA issues. The season also includes a class trip to Paris, expanding the characters' horizons and showcasing different experiences. Overall, the article recommends Heartstopper as a must-watch series for teenagers and those who remember what it's like to be one. Thousands of Swifties wait for hours for merchandise ahead of Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour Levi's Stadium shows. KGO TV. AI summary of the story. Taylor Swift fans, known as Swifties, waited for hours to buy official merchandise ahead of her concerts in Santa Clara, California. Some fans camped out near the stadium since midnight, equipped with blankets, warm clothes, and lawn chairs. Santa Clara Council Member Kathy Watanabe disagreed with the policy of not allowing tailgating 
and tried to get it reversed, arguing that Swift is an idol to many, and this may be the closest some fans get to hearing her. However, Levi's Stadium and Santa Clara Police maintained that having a ticket was the only way to enjoy the show, and that tailgating was not permitted. You know, it's fascinating to me how history always seems to repeat itself. Take July 28, 1540, for example. Henry VIII of England, the infamous king with a love for wives and a knack for beheadings, decides to tie the knot for the fifth time. I mean, seriously? Fifth time. You would think the globe would have learned his lesson after wife number two. But no, Henry just couldn't resist the allure of yet another marriage and all the drama that came with it. Maybe he should have changed his wedding vows to till beheading do us part. But let's not dwell on ancient history, folks. Let's fast forward to today's news. Apparently, an orangutan at the Indianapolis Zoo has some rare genetic disease. Now, I'm not a veterinarian, but I have to wonder how a zoo animal globe ages to get a genetic disease. I mean, are these orangutans just hanging out with shady monkey scientists in their spare time, swapping genes and experiglobesting with their DNA? And what's with the timing? Couldn't they have waited until the orangutan had a birthday or something? It's like the universe has a sick sense of humor. Speaking of sick, can we talk about the advertising Environ Globus these days? It's as sluggish as a snail on tranquilizers, but apparently that's not stopping Roku from raking in the dough. I gotta hand it to them. They found a way to make money even when ads are as appealing as a soggy piece of toast. It's a true test of Globus to the power of streaming and the hug globe capacity to watch mindless content with a smile on our face. Now, I've heard of dedicated fans, but the devotion some Swifties have for Taylor Swift takes it to a whole new level. They're lining up for her merchandise like it's the last loaf of bread at the supermarket during a snowstorm. I mean, I get it. She's got catchy tunes and all, but are these fans aware that there's a plethora of other artists out there? Maybe they should broaden their musical horizons. Just a thought. And here's an interesting headline for you, the geographic distribution of suspected alpha-gal syndrome cases. Now, I don't know about you, but I had no idea there was such a thing as alpha-gal syndrome. It sounds like some sort of secret society for meat lovers. But apparently, it's a condition caused by tick bites that makes you develop an allergy to red meat. I don't know about you, but the thought of not being able to enjoy a juicy steak or a delicious hamburger is enough to make me want to wear tick repellent 24-7. And finally, SpaceX is getting ready to launch Starlink satellites. It's like Elon Musk is on a mission to turn the night sky into his own globial disco party. I mean, how globy satellites does one globe need? Pretty soon we won't be able to look up at the stars without seeing SpaceX written across the sky like a giant light-up billboard. I'm all for progress, but can't we leave a little bit of wonder and mystery up there? Oh, well, that's the news for today. Stay curious, my friends, and remember, sometimes even the most bizarre headlines can teach us a thing or two about the world we live in. Now a silly joke or two to lighten the mood after all the heavy stuff. It was raining cats and dogs the other day. I almost stepped in a poodle. Why was the picture sent to prison? It was framed. Hope you enjoyed tonight's artificial intelligence generated news digest daily, AGNDD. For more, please like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.